Good afternoon, Mrs. Malhotra. I'm speaking on behalf of Jenahanand Foundation, a Sri Lankan community in the UK, based in Hounslow. Firstly, why should people in Sri Lankan community vote Labour on June day? I believe that it's an important choice we now face as a nation for the future of our NHS, for our jobs and our prosperity, but also for our education system. And when I have been working with the Sri Lankan community in Hounslow, what struck me is that real desire to get on and to work incredibly hard, yet so much unfairness that gets in the way. And so I believe that at this time, when we look at the choice between Labour and the Conservatives, that it's a Labour vote that's going to make that difference for investment in our health service that is seeing so much by way of delays and waiting times and waiting lists on the increase, that investment in our education system, so every child has that chance of get, having the best education uh, for their future life, but also for housing, to make sure everybody's got that affordable housing for rent or buy. We've said in the Labour Party that we'll be building a million homes and those homes will be, of 50% of those will be affordable homes for renting and for, for purchase. But on top of that, so many people come to me with concerns about immigration and I believe we need a much fairer immigration system. On those issues, I believe it's the Labour Party that has the answers and not the Conservative Party. Okay. And what are the key issues you're focused on in Feltham and Heston in the, in, in the last few years? We've absolutely been focused on how do we improve uh, how we come together as a community to focus on education, on employability, on making sure that we invest in our communities, that we build the homes that we need, but also the, the things that make a difference for people's quality of life. The uh, anti tackling antisocial behaviour and drugs on our streets, making sure the police have the resources they need to work with the local authorities. We've seen a massive cut in our police since Theresa May was Home Secretary. She cut nearly 20,000 police officers, which we've pledged to bring back as much as possible in London and particularly led by Sadiq Khan. So I think there's a very different choice that focuses on our community safety, our community well-being and also the prosperity and opportunity for everybody. In many ways I believe that that's where people are focused because everybody wants that chance of a good home, they want that chance of a decent job, they want to be able to support their families and I think what this election has also made clear is that we want to see young people with the very best chance. Young people have seen their prospects worsen under the Conservatives but we would make sure we bring back education maintenance allowance for 16 to 18 year olds as well but also reduce and cut those tuition fees that are giving thousands of young people those maybe £50,000 uh, in debt by the time they leave after studying. That's not the ticket for success for the rest of your life. We need to make sure we have a, a policy of fairness for young people and that's very important. And um, have you been working with the Sri Lankan community in, in the UK and mm. particularly in Hounslow? Mm. I'm incredibly proud of the Sri Lankan community in Hounslow and I'm very proud of the way that we've seen the Hounslow Janahanda Foundation come through. We've seen the 10th anniversary that we recently celebrated in Parliament as well, where we recognised with Mr Dias and so many others that contribution that the Sri Lankan community make to our economic life, to our social and cultural life here in Hounslow. It's only by that leadership coming through and then working together and seeing that connection with our politics that we're able to help all our communities come forward and have their voice in our local politics and our national politics. That to me is incredibly important and I'm very proud of the way we've worked together and we've seen successive leaders of the Labour Party including Ed Miliband and Jeremy Corbyn give their messages of support for the Hounslow Janahanda Foundation. Akhil, uh, and I'd like to ask you if the Labour Party win, you think Labour Party will support for the our uh, UK community? UK uh, yeah, definitely. That has been the core principle of the Labour Party. They basically work for the you know, common people like you and me. So, uh, I, I will sure in success the Labour government has been doing and there is no exception this time. In fact, we are much more focused this time. We are doing so many wonderful things, you know. In particular, in Hanslow community, I have seen all our roads have been resurfaced after many years actually is excellent things and we have been openly talking about you know education nhs i know mr sima malatra campaigned few months back for the nhs we had campaigned in front of hanslow west two stations we have done thousands of leaflets and mr sima malatra is basically talking about in you know, education you know uh, 
I mean, uh, fixing, uh, almost reducing the, you know, tuition fees, other things. So these are all excellent pro, you know, people policy. And I don't think there will be any deviation from that, you know. We'll continue to do that. We'll continue to uphold the labor values. I'm going to question Mr. Uday uh, Nagaraju, uh, who worked with the Sima Malhotra and uh, supporting with the Labour Party. So, uh, Mr. Uday, uh, can you tell me why you are supporting uh, Sima Malhotra, MP, former MP uh, Feltham and Heston? Um, Siva Malhotra, is, uh, MP for Felter and Heston, has been a brilliant MP, both as a constituency MP and both in, in and in the Parliament as well, uh, raising our voices in the Parliament, um, working for us, working for Feltham and Heston, and uh, raising all the issues that that we need. Um, and she integrates quite. She uh, communicates with all the communities at Feltham and Heston, and uh, and and she tries to bring about uh, harmony between the communities and the issues that that are that all the communities are facing within Feltham and Heston. So, so I think she's a brilliant MP and uh, re-elected. She can she can voice her issues in the parliament very well and um, all the concerns of the constituency, not only at the constituency level, but when she was the shadow chief secretary of treasury, uh, she she has done an excellent job. And uh, and we are all proud from West London that our MP from this constituency has has uh, gone up to that position and um, and uh, even uh, uh, done a role at a national level. Um, so in both the, in both those uh, in from those both those perspectives. I think we have to re-elect her with a much bigger majority. Um, one, as a constituency MP, and secondly, uh, to, to look forward in terms of uh, improving labour values and the British values, uh, in t um, into the m and bringing them into the Parliament. Thank you. And also, if the Labour Party wins, and also including Mr. Sima Lothra in our Feltham and Heston, you think uh, they are going to support for the minority people also? I, I think uh, uh, Labour Party in general and Seema Malhotra in particular, she is supporting all the communities, all uh, every community across uh, in in uh, not only in Feltham and Heston but ac across across the UK. Because as as we see, the uh, British community is made up of all all the communities working together in peace and harmony. So I think it fits in with with the principles of Labour Party and also with uh, with the vision of Seema Malhotra, who who really wants to unite all the communities together and work alongside uh, with all the communities. So I'm sure. Uh, I'm so. I'm sure. Once she wins, uh, she will. She would be supporting all the communities in the same way that she's always been supporting. And in particular, Jinananda Foundation's work. She's been quite highly pray. Uh, she's been highly praising of Jinananda Foundation's work, of the Sri Lankan community's work. Um, and I have visited some some of your events where uh, Sima Malhotra supports you when when you have for events and and all your activities. So I'm sure she would, she would continue with a greater interest and uh, um, and work with all the communities and in Sri Lankan community in particular. Uh, thank you Mr. Uday and uh, thank you Mr. Akil. Actually we need to bring a Labour Party to power uh, because of the uh, because of the Labour Le Party win so we all get a good chance to live in a, a better way in this country and also thank you very much for um, everyone who support us in here. Thank you very much.